Hello, everybody. Hi. We're coming on live from our back porch. Yes, we are. We have furniture on here. We've got lights on here. It's a little cool out tonight. We have our little sweatshirts on, our little hoodies. We got a football game going on. You can hear the football game in the in the uh, out there. In the... <laughs> Only about a half a mile away, is that about what you would say? Maybe. Hey everyone. Hi. Sounds like they're next door though. You, you'll hear them here in just a minute. So. Hey everybody on a Friday night. Hi Felicia from Tennessee. Tennessee. How are you Felicia from Tennessee? And we have Linda from Indiana. Good to see you guys tonight. We are on our back porch. Oh, and we love it. So we'll wait till we get a few more people on and then we'll show you guys the back porch. Hey, Michael McDaniel. Hey, How Michael. are you? Hey, Joyce and Charlene. We are loving this back porch. We're sitting out here and we got a home football game going on. We talked about it for about 30 seconds about going to the game. And then we just decided we would sit here and listen. It's been fun. You can hear when Shelby County scores. You hear that? It's a touchdown. <laughs> oh my gosh. The horns have been going off tonight. They have been so. going off. They have been going off. And um, Daryl and I, are, all of our daughters played the mellophone in the marching band. And... I'm going to sit back a little bit. I realize it's my shadow on your face. So oh. Let me scoot back. So anyway, all of our daughters marched to the marching band. They played the mellophone, and then they played French horn in concert. So we sat for 12 years. In those stands. 12 years in the stands, and we loved it. Every minute. And the competitions, we, had, I guess they, they went to at least three of them a year. Yeah, we went to all the competitions. It was so much fun. And we sat right beside the band. And anyway, it was just the best. So it's really fun to be out here tonight. It is to hear those to sounds. We sat with all of our friends. Oh, it was so much fun. With Daryl and Beth and Brenda and Raymond. We all sat in the same spot. It was so great. Those were good times, huh? They were. Sweet good times. So, um, hey, Vicki from Gainesville, Georgia. Vicki said, I have a homecoming football game just right across the yard in parking lot for me. Wow. Oh, that's fun. So fun. Melinda said, you need some hot apple cider. Yes. It's a little cool out here. Ooh, cooler than, than it has been. It feels good. I was thinking I might need some hot chocolate. Yeah. I love hot chocolate. So anyway, we just wanted to just say hello, and I'm gonna let Daryl take the take the little take selfie friends. stick and show you guys the porch. Uh, Clint finished up the porch today. I think he's got the back door to do. But anyway, all right, you want to take him? So Diane said she played the flute in the piccolo. I love it. Okay, all right, you wanna show them? So I'm gonna turn this around. So this is, ooh, the end of the porch without the light. So we have this, um, what do you call that? Light on the, on the table, table light, a light, porch light, whatever it is. So there it is. Oh. So I'm going to turn it around like this. Yeah. Nice and white. So again, that door will be changed next week. And there it is. That's what Clint put up today. Made sure the electricity was all set up. He made sure that these uh, outlets were hot. That one there, 
and then there's one down there. This one up here is in case we decide to have to mount a TV here for the outside. Haven't really made the decision. We've been thinking about it, but he said I can put a, a uh, an outlet there to make it an easy decision when it when that day comes. So that's that. He covered that hole with a plate, and he then put um, another outlet up here. We're gonna put, we're gonna string lights on the, uh, I guess they'll be on the interior, won't they? Yeah. They'll hang on the interior, but hang down yeah. all the way along here and along there. So. <clears throat> now again he's going to redo this wall here can't really see it very well but that wall is going to be redone and there's miss annie on the porch waving there's the baptist church across the street oh my goodness be so nice it's beautiful isn't it love it oh. yeah so I've, I've seen a lot of you know I don't have my glasses on but it looks like a lot of people are saying it really looks beautiful so I'm going to turn this around. So there you go. So what do you guys think? Do you like that light? Hold on. I want to ask your really honest opinion about this light. What do you guys think about that pendant lantern? I really love it. It matches our front porch light. So anyway. We, I'm going to move you slowly so we don't make you too dizzy. You know what? We have to, we need to set a goal to get our little curtain up right there. Oh my goodness. I mean. That could be a tomorrow thing. Tomorrow is Saturday. <laughs> I do have a few things I want to get accomplished. So maybe we could put that on the list. That would be so great. Yeah. We could put that on the list. Thank you guys so much. Jana said the church looks so pretty. Love your porch. Be sure um, he sure does amazing work. He takes pride in his work. He really does. Yes. We were we've been sitting here for what maybe an hour. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. easy, just relaxing and enjoying the beauty of it all. Yeah, and then we were like just like looking up, and I was just like, his caulking is so good. <laughs> it's just. Everything is just sealed so tight. It's so pretty. What is the window? What did you say? What is the window with the sheet on it? I love it. Beautiful job. So right here. <laughs> Are you that, talking about the sheet on the window? Uh, I'm, I'm just, she said she loved it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, um, it's to It's part the, of the second. It's a bedroom. The second bedroom. So Darryl, behind the bed. Yeah, so Daryl has the, we have one window done, but not this window. So, but we'll get there. Oh, yeah. You'll get there. Eventually. That's tomorrow, y'all. Can we set that as a goal tomorrow? But there's always tomorrow. The way I look at it, there's always tomorrow. Right. There are people that have said, why don't you ask Clint to do that? Yeah. And I haven't asked Clint to do it because Daryl's actually really good at hanging curtains. He really is. He's very meticulous. Patty said she loves the light. Everything looks wonderful. Thank you, guys. Love the light and all the furniture. Thank you. So we've had this furniture, all the cushions I had up in the attic, but we had the furniture out there on the back patio, so we had to get some spider webs off and some pecans leaves, and leaves pecans. and yeah. everything. Um, Penny said, will you ever screen it in? So there is, there's a guy that we know, his name is Jeremy, and he owns a company, and I think we are going to chat with him about it, but there's like these screens that we could put on that will come down. 
So we're just gonna ask him about it and find out. Right now, we don't really have any plans to screen it in, but we'll see. I mean, right now we love it. It's yeah. wide open, it's so beautiful. Um, Michael said the back porch looks awesome. Thank, Thank you, you friend. Kathy said the sun will come up tomorrow. It is. Rhonda said, when are you putting window coverings in the other rooms? Right? Well, we have them. We have them. Oh, I thought you were going to get new curtains for the uh, <laughs> for the dining room and, and the. Uh, have you gotten those? Terrible. <laughs> So maybe I've changed my mind, but we do have oh, all okay. in the living room. No, we have the living room. Okay. So we'll get to them. Yeah. Hey, meal prep mama Sita. Okay, so um, are you actually at Disney World, meal prep mama Sita, Julie? Are you there? You'll have to let us know. Hey, Joyce. Joy said, everything is figure outable. I have faith in you, Daryl. Thank you, Joyce. It's true. Daryl, will, he will get it done. Um, leave it open. It's pretty just like that, Sherry said. And somebody loves emojis like me. <laughs> Vicki, I love all your emojis. I'm an emoji girl. I love those things. Look at them. Those are so fun. Yeah. Are you from Asheville? Are you doing all right? Asheville, Alabama. Oh, Asheville, Alabama. Okay. I didn't see that. Laura said, you two are a sweet couple. Love you both. Love your recipes and love the laughter you share. Thank well, you. isn't that the sweetest thing? Um, Nola said, you spending more money? Let me tell you something, Nola. Miss Annie and Daryl work really hard for their money. <laughs> we do. And we were talking tonight about just how this house has turned out so much better than what we ever, ever expected. Yeah. And um, we are so grateful for all of the, all of the work that has been done, the wonderful help we've had. <clears throat> and um, anyway, we, we are savers and we have been saving We've been saving for a long time. Yes, we have. To be able to take care of the things that we needed to do. So, all right. So, Kathy said, is there a football game going on? There sure is. Yes. It's, it's about, I think, about a half a mile in that direction. Yeah, so the high school is there. right over there. It's like, to me, it's like kind of a couple blocks away. Maybe Maybe, three maybe less, blocks. Than, less than a half a mile away. Yeah. And, um, yes, there's a football game, and we've just been sitting out here just enjoying it, listening to the band. Um, our, we were saying earlier when we first came on that our girls were in the band. Shannon, Ashley, and Madison all played the mellophone. They marched on that field. Anyway, we were, we were the parents that just showed up and were there for all the things as I'm sure most all of you guys were too. And didn't didn't they all three march at the same time? Or did Madison not have an opportunity to march with Shannon? Um, I think when sh let me think. Uh, I think when, when Shannon, I know when Shannon and Ashley were in the, the mellophone core, if you will, they were pretty proud of themselves. I think there were five mellophonists and they would out, they would drown out the trumpets. Oh my gosh. And, and that was like 10 boys, and it was like four or five girls, and they just were tickled with themselves because they could uh, beat the boys with sound. So some of you might, I was just thinking, honestly, we never knew. I did not know what a mellophone was until our girls, oh. like the band director said, I think that, so they played French horn in concert. Well, you don't march with a French horn. Most, I mean, I don't, I don't even know. Maybe every once in a while somebody might play French horn, but for the most part, at least here, you don't really march with a French horn. And so um, our girls played the mellophone, which is an alto, basically kind of an alto trumpet. So it looks like a trumpet, but it has a bigger horn, bigger a bell. bell on the front. Yeah. Anyway, it has a beautiful sound. Very, very nice. Beautiful sound. And anyway, our girls loved playing the mellophone. 
And um, so we would sit at the games. For 12 years, we sat at football games. And you were asking about Madison. So I don't know if, we, you know, if you were in seventh grade here, you could march. Yeah. So if Shannon was a senior, would, at, would Madison have been in seventh grade? We're going to have to ask them. Yeah, because I can't remember if all three of them were out there at the same. I, for some reason, I don't think Madison was out there. You know what? Shannon. I think she may have been a band aide. Oh, yes. In sixth grade. Yeah. So she may have been helping. I don't know. Anyway, it was a good time. We loved it. So um, my daughter was in the school band and we enjoyed it. So, oh, yeah. And we learned that if you're going to volunteer to run concessions, you do it in the winter. When that, it's, that, that doggone kitchen can get hot. Don't do the August games or the September games. Start volunteering in October and November when it's cold. So we learned that. Diane said the porch is just beautiful. Love the light fixtures. Have a great night. Thank, Thank you guys you. so much. So September said, good evening, everyone. I love your name, September. Linola said, my grandson played the same instrument and he re received a scholarship to Troy, Troy University. How about that? That's so awesome. They have a wonderful band. Yes, they do. I feel like we had a competition at Troy. Or no, that was Jacksonville State. I think they yeah. went to Jacksonville State. Um, Kathleen said, when we first moved to Florida, my son marched in the Rose Bowl. Wow. <gasps> that is awesome. So someone said their mom played French horn back in the 1930s, a long time ago. Elizabeth said, well, who was that who said that? Nola? Very cool. My oldest son, Elizabeth said, my oldest son played trumpet from fifth grade all the way through college. I'm a big band parent. Cool. Yes, band parents are so cool, so fun. Um, Susan said, hello, I'm late, what's up? We're just sitting on our nice porch, on our back porch. Our back porch. We've got our chairs and our light, if you can see that. There you go, you gotta look in the corner there. It's, it's up, right there. and then we are just, we are just loving life. We've got our little couch here and our other little chairs. And we're just enjoying just a beautiful night out here on the porch. So we just thought we would just say hello. Um, Dawn said, I loved watching our daughter play in our small marching band. I know, it's just the sweetest thing. Um, Jamie said she played the flute in the 80s. Mm. Okay, so I was in the band, but I did not pay, play an instrument. I was on the dance line with my friend Michelle. So Michelle, you guys know how I've talked about Stella and Lowell. So Stella, um, Michelle was our dance line captain. Mm -hmm. So didn't did you know she, that? I didn't know she was the captain. Yeah, she was the dance line captain, Michelle. Mm -hmm. So I was, I did the flags and the dancing. <laughs> I'm a flag, and let's see, that was Betty. Let's see what Betty What'd said. What did she say? I was a flag and rifle girl back in the 80s. Oh. In the band. That's very cool. I don't think we had rifles in our band. I don't think we did, but you know what? Anyway, we would lo we'd loved going to those competitions. Oh, they were awesome. Oh, all my. day long. It was all, yeah, all day. You just saw talent after talented band. It just, and it went from small band all the way up to the big bands. And, right. You know, Start with those tiny schools with a tiny band, and then you'd get bigger and bigger and bigger. It was just the best time. I loved it so much. Patsy said, I worked my concessions during my daughter's band years. Yeah, many. I worked many concessions. Yes, yes, yes. So many. Sandy said, we were the first all brass band in Ohio to copy OSU. Great oh. times. Two rows of trumpets. What are Two you saying? Oh, what? Okay. That's a lot of trumpets. Let me get over here. Two rows of trumpets and two lines of megaphone. No sound like it. All brass. Oh, oh wow. I bet that I was bet cool. that was so amazing. I love the brass section and I love the drum section. Yeah. Uh, you, you put those two together, man. It's awesome. Hey, listen, do you ever hear the Million Dollar Band? 
at Alabama uh, practicing? No, when I go in the morning, so I pass them about 6.30, 6.45. They're actually on their practice field without instruments. They're just warming up physically. Oh, and they're, they're, I they're, bet they're going through the motions. Right, they're all just the, doing all the... All their... Sets or sets, whatever. Yeah. yeah. They don't, none of them have their, their instruments with them. Yeah, oh, that's really cool. Them, so. so when our daughter Ashley lived in Auburn, when her husband was in pharmacy school, well, she mentioned that the other day. So they, they made tables while they were there. But where they lived, it was um, on my friend's property right next to the university. And it was right next to where Auburn University band practice, and it was amazing. Yeah. And we would go over there. I would take the grands over there, and we would watch them, Piper and Luke, and we would just watch them. And then later, Cash and Sadie, we would go over and watch them, and it was so odd. It was so incredible. Carrie said, "My hometown school band marched at Disney World." Yeah. Awesome. That's awesome. Joanne said, made your pumpkin bread today. Made your pumpkin bread today. It was a big hit. Oh, good. Terry said she was in the drum lane, or drum line, and he was in the drum line. Here. Yeah. Terry, your name can go either way. Um, so, let's see. So, I I'm not, so Terry, I think that's a that's woman. A female, so. You were in the drum line? That's so cool. Donna said, is it cold? We both have jackets. It's a little cool it's, tonight. It's a little cooler than than it was last night. Yes. Um, have we ever seen 60s. Jacksonville State University play? Yes, I yeah. have, and they're amazing. Um, Beth said, drums are my favorite. I didn't know the words to any of the rock and roll, but I could hit every drum beat. <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. That's fun. The drum, uh, the teacher, what, what would you call him? What was Greg's be like? A, he, he the the band director. Band director. He uh, every year he always picked out one classic rock song, mm. and uh, and he had other songs from other I don't know, time periods time or periods. whatever. But there was always one classic rock, and I always waited. What's he gonna sing? What's he gonna play this year? So. And there he did Freebird one year. Freebird was one year. They had a guitarist actually yeah. get out and, and play that. And yeah. They did Queen one year, and they did, uh, I think, ACDC one year. Anyway, it was it was pretty cool. Oh, my gosh. I'm looking at all of these comments, and so many of you guys, there's so many people that do, that have people either in the band or grandchildren are band. I love it so much. Tammy said, I made the pumpkin roll with nuts and made a big roll. Awesome. Wow. Wait, somebody said 200. I made 250 of your pumpkin bread? Holy what? Cow. Paulette. Paulette. What in the world? Were you having a fundraiser? Did you did you do that? Did you did you write that right? Or did you mean 25? What's happening? Um, Louise said she made the pumpkin bread and she's taking it to church tomorrow, I think. Um, Charlene said, I was head majorette in the 1970 and played flute. <gasps> That's very cool. Very cool. I, I lost you. These things go by so fast. Um, at Bloom Carroll in Ohio. Okay, I got you. Um, somebody said, let's see. Annie, did your mom fill her button pan half full or more with a pumpkin bread batter? I went to make it, but do not want to fill wrong. You know what? I haven't seen my mom pop on here. Is my mom on here? You know what? I would imagine that mom probably filled it about three quarters of the way full, not half. I bet it was about three quarters. And then she had enough batter left over and she made two of the smaller loaves of like the medium size pumpkin bread. So um, I would probably fill it about an inch from the top, maybe an inch about an inch from the top is what I would do. So what color is the outside of our house? It's white, it's it's this color. And honestly, it's, um, it's a bright white. Aunt Lynette was telling me there are special whites that you can pay attention to. On the back of a Sherwin-Williams card, there's like a special number <laughs> that indicates the brightness so that it doesn't hurt your eyes. You know how some whites are so bright they hurt your eyes when the sun hits them? Yeah. 
So there's, there's certain numbers that let you know how bright it's going to be. Oh, okay. Isn't that interesting? I did not know that about Sherwin-Williams. They have been amazing to work with, too, you guys. Anyway, I love them. Watched your mom today, her video. Right? Did you see mom's video I today? I did. She did yoga, chair <laughs> yoga or something like that. She and did. I thought, hey, maybe I can get into yoga doing that. She did do chair yoga. Dana said, Sherwin-Williams Ultra Ride is what was used on the porch. Thank you, Dana. Bright white, please show your, what did you say? Please show your porch again, I got on late. Okay, I'll show you guys the porch again real quick. All right, let's see, let me turn around. Okay, y'all, okay. So here is the new light that matches our front light, our the light up on the front porch. But we don't have a pendant light on the front porch. We just have a light by the door, if you guys remember that. But, so here's the porch. I'll step back a little bit. And there's Daryl up there. So this is the beautiful back porch, you guys. And we are just sitting out here loving it. It's our first night to be able to be out here and the band, I think it's halftime. That sounds I like halftime. Yeah. So they actually play in the opposite direction on halftime. They're playing that direction. Oh yeah, that's right. That's why it's crowd. so quiet. Yeah, the home crowd is yeah. Um so we're just enjoying this porch. And we love our light. Love our light. And like Daryl said, um, we are going to be putting some of those neat little um, string lights up here. And they'll just kind of go all along there. And we'll be able to turn off this light, the big bright light, and we'll just be able to have those lights out here. So that'll be really nice. Um, there is going to be a new door here. Um, and when it comes, that'll be great because we'll, it'll be a nice sturdy door that we'll be able to really lock. So yeah, we're just loving our porch. And it's just so great. And I think Daryl pointed out our little sweet, our little sweet church is right there. So, yeah. All right, everybody. All right. So, anyway, beautiful. Love your light. Love the market light. Thank you, Nola. Hi, Darlene. Thank you so much. Vegetable oil is so much better for you than canola oil. Google it. I don't know what you guys, maybe somebody's talking about the, um, the pumpkin bread. It's, it's, it has vegetable oil in it. It's what I've always used. Um, Suzanne said, you will have to have a little cookout with your Blackstone on your new porch. Yes, yes. we will. We are so excited to just. I can't see, is that Robin? Robin was asking what the temperature was. I just checked. It's like 61 right now. 61. Yeah. So we need our coats. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm like thinking if we stay out here much longer, I might have to run in there and get a blanket. I, I heard but. it's going to be in the 40s like Monday evening. Uh, Is it? Tuesday morning, something like that. Okay. Yeah, so. Okay. I haven't told Daryl this at all, but one of the things I'm curious about is it, like what it's going to be like if the house is going to be warm, you know, like when we turn the heat on. I feel like it's going to be great because if you guys remember, we put in a lot of insulation. Remember that, Dee? But these old houses, we've lived in old houses before and we know what it's like to live in an old house. Um, and so that's why we put so much in insulation in. So I'm anxious to see what happens when we turn on the heat, when it gets cold. So we'll see. 
Debbie said, I love your porch. So glad you can enjoy it now. Thank you. LaWanda said, everything looks beautiful. I love your light at the door. Thank, Thank you. you. Somebody said, we need a fire pit. Yes, we do. We need all the things. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Um, so, yeah, we're, we have a nice little, like, concrete a, pad area just a pad out over there. there. Yeah. It's very dark, or I would turn this around so you guys could see. But now that we've got this furniture up here, because this furniture was out there, minus all the cushions, and now we can put a little gathering place out there. I'm excited about it. It'll be nice. And have a little fire pit right in the middle. We've yeah. looked at some, uh, what kind was that that we saw an advertisement for last night? Okay, have you guys seen the Snoop Dogg commercial that is right. on is with Dogg. a fire pit of some sort? It's Does like anybody a, have those? It's a metal one. Um, can't think of the type They're of like metal. smokeless. Stainless steel type metal, smokeless. They really look like it'd be perfect to, to put out there in the middle of that pad. Yeah. <clears throat> so... Anyway, we've we've looked at that. That would be really nice. I don't know. I think they're really cool, the smokeless fire pit thing. Um, Jeannie said, I love the pendant light. Thank you. Carrie said, I keep my thermostat at 70 all year round. Um, somebody said, do you have your crawl space insulated? We do not. What is down? We have like plastic is down in there. Um, Will we be keeping the window behind us on the porch? Yes, we yeah. will. That is a bedroom window, and it will have a beautiful curtain up by tomorrow. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I know someone that needs to take care of that. So. And well, I, actually, it's a, it's a panel. It is a, it's, it's one of the curtain panels. It looks like a sheet, but it's, um, oh, yeah. remember that, it's one of the panels. Kind of a sheer type thing. When my nephew came with his wife, we had the one set up and we didn't have anything here. And then we put that up. And then we've just been busy with all the other things going on. So, oh, it's called a solo, solo fire, fire pit. pit. That's right. Oh my gosh, Thank I love you. it. Thank you, solo fire pit. Um, last name so I can see the chair yoga. So Pam, if you just, my, I posted a little video today of my mom. Um, she kind of does a little heads up. I asked her to give you guys a little heads up of, you know, what's going on with the hurricane, you know, cause she's in Florida and where she's at and what she's doing. And she and my sister are just hanging out. My sister lives in St. Augustine. They made our lasagna soup. That's in one of our cookbooks. I can't remember, but you can go find lasagna soup on the website. They made that today. They made pumpkin bread. Um, yesterday, I think. And so they're doing chair yoga. Little cuties, I said, I wish I was there with you doing chair yoga. Anyway, so just go back and look at that video. It's on today. I put it on up today. So um, Kathleen said, I was wondering what that was. Someone said, someone else, let's see, who else actually said a solo? Well, there's Linda. been several, several of you know the name and i we appreciate you guys so much yeah <laughs> we we just like you know. somebody asked us where our mics were again y'all we just keep forgetting we do we totally forget we need to put something on this that says mike we got to get better at that you guys so sorry um gina said she saw our mom's video today right hey lynn from utah um, Rebecca said, where did you see the fire pit? It was just an ad. It was, a uh, yeah, it was, uh, we were uh, watching Snoop Dogg. The, it, was it on, uh, we were watching the, the voice. voice. Yeah. We were watching the voice, you know, and Snoop Dogg is on the voice. And then, um, there's an ad for the fire pit. And this is really funny. You guys, I don't know if we've ever shared this, but little Cooper, you know, remember little Cooper from this summer, our little grandson, his nickname is Snoop Dogg. And everybody at the pool called him Snoop Dogg. They never called him Cooper. <laughs> so, anyway. Hey, sis. So sweet. Good hey, Debbie. How are you? Um, 
Yvonne said I made your vegetable beef soup and it was delicious. That is oh, good. I'm good, good so stuff. So glad. That is so good. It is really good. Diana said I saw your mom's video today and was glad to see that she was okay. I'm so glad that you guys she feels all that love from y'all. Cheryl, that's a good question. When will we stain the porch? We'll stain that. Sherwin Williams said to take at least six months and let it dry out and, and get weathered and whatever they say, but six months. Yeah, so. you can you can see some green in it, so we're just kind of waiting till that green, green fades. So, um, Sissy said, how many regular loaf pans does your recipe make? So, um, I can show you guys what it makes. Do you wanna hold this? Yeah, I'll hold it. I'll hang with you guys. Actually, I could take it out. She could. Well, looky here. She came back for you. See ya. Okay. I'm going <laughs> to... I mean, it's just easier for me to take you guys in the kitchen. Because I know it can be confusing, right? Okay. So, let's look in here. All right. So, my pumpkin, pumpkin bread recipe makes... Two of these little mini loaves, okay? One batch makes that. Here's the medium sized loaf. If you put that right next to this, okay? Okay, so this is, okay, here's the deal. Okay, it makes two of these. I hardly ever, I, I I never make pumpkin bread in the large loaf. I find that it kind of falls. So, but if this is all you have, make it in this. So it makes two of these, five of these, and 16 of these little small loaves. That's what it does. Does that help you guys? Diana said, how was the oatmeal pie ice cream? Did you get it at Walmart? Um, it was, no, I did not get it at Walmart. I got it at the Piggly Wiggly because it was on sale for $5.99. And can I, you guys, I love this drawer, so these drawers so much. Oh my word, they are so amazing and then they just shut on their own all the way so good like look how pretty this little kitchen is y'all i cleaned it up from today's earlier craziness and here's a little peek about what i'll be doing next week i'm not gonna that's this is a teaser you guys those are going to my neighbors you guys always ask like what do we do with our um what do we do with our leftover food and all the things? And we, like today, I ran some of it over to our little neighbor and they were so happy. I bet they were. They were really happy. <laughs> all right, so should we just finish up we're coming inside and are we good to go? Um, let's see. Steve said, I made two in your large loaves of delicious. We loved it. Oh, good. So Denise said that. Okay, good. Where are we going? Um, in here? It's kind of warmer in here. It is. I'm feeling like it's a little bit warmer. So I need some hot chocolate if I'm going to continue to chit chat oh. out there. So Sharon said, oh, well, hey, Sharon. Uh, Sharon said, wish us luck. We have to feed 90 people for a baby shower tomorrow evening. My goodness. <gasps> Listen, Sharon, you have to tell everybody how many people are in your family. She has a huge family. I'm just, yeah, that is a lot of people. Woo, wee. What are you making, girl? You have to let me know. Um, don't forget about your candle on the porch. You are right. <laughs> Y'all are so great. Oh my goodness gracious. Um, can't our refrigerator be countered up instead of sticking out? 
not at this point. No. It is what it is. Yeah. We, it is going to have to stay that way for sure. Um, so somebody said, Pinky Ma's made pumpkin donuts with cream cheese icing yesterday. I saw you had a something pumpkin pan. Listen, I have all the pans in there, don't I? Gina said, my daughter has those kind of drawers in her new house, in her kitchen, and her kitchen cabinets are white, too. I love them. Yes, like honestly, you guys, we just kind of have to pinch ourselves. We are so grateful for how this house turned out. Yeah. It is just awesome. Okay, you guys, we're going to let you go. I just realized that I have not done my picks for tomorrow. And I haven't either. So I haven't even looked at it. I have no idea who's playing tomorrow. You guys, we do college ESPN. What is it called? Um, college yeah. Pick'em. Pick'em. College Pick'em. We've done it every year. We do it with, like, so Matt, our son-in-law Matt, he usually sets it up. But this year, somebody in his family set it up. So anyway, we have, I don't know, maybe 10? Yeah, it's a smaller group this year. We have like 10 family members, and we all kind of pick. We're given 10 football games, and we have to choose the winners and give them numbers. And Anyway, it's a whole lot of fun, and we have not done that yet. Okay, so Sharon, I'm so glad you said this. She said, our family is huge. My mom was the oldest girl out of 15 kids. Okay, hold on. 16. You're stuck. Is it 16 kids? Yeah, 16. We have a huge family reunion every year and have hundreds in attendance. My goodness. That is no joke. And Sharon is the one who gave me the recipe for ham salad oh, okay. that went viral that has, I don't know, five or 600,000 views the last time I looked. That is delicious, by it's the way. It's so good. Yes. Ham salad. You can find it on my website. It's also, I think we put it in the six ingredient cookbook. I think I it's in there. I think it's in the latest cookbook. Anyway, so good. All right, you guys, we love you. Thanks for coming on with us tonight. Thanks for sitting on our back porch with us. That was so nice. We loved it, didn't we? We did. We do all of it. Yes. We love you guys. We um, So we're just going to remind you to be... Stronger every day. Know that you can do hard things. And we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.